A recent poll finds only 27% of Americans say the U.S. history they were taught in school reflected a full and accurate account of the role of African Americans. The Quinnipiac University poll also shows 66% say what they learned fell short. So as we celebrate Black History Month, we want to take some time to discuss the lesser known moments in American history often not taught in school. Assistant professor at NYU's Journalism Institute and co-host of the podcast Uncivil, Jen Jirai Kumanyika joins me now for more on this. Professor, thanks so much for coming on. Such an important topic. And I wanted to get first your reaction to these poll results. Two thirds of Americans here are saying they weren't taught enough about the struggles and the triumphs of African Americans in the U.S. Why do you think that is? Why isn't this being taught? Well, thank you so much for having me on. And, uh, you know, I got to say, I'm not surprised to see those answers, even though they are alarming. Um, because when I made Uncivil and another podcast that I work on, Seen on Radio, these deal with difficult moments in history. And I worried that maybe some Americans would feel disturbed. But the overwhelming feedback we got was people saying, we want more of this. Why didn't I learn this in school? And they actually feel really uh, happy to have a, 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 a correct history, even if it's challenging and challenges what they thought they knew. Now, you say this isn't just omission, but that there's a history of telling a false mythological history of our country. Can you explain what you mean by that? Well, you know, I think that um, many people over the years have understood that, you know, you know, a lot of the, you know, leaders, politicians, people who had particular kinds of political stakes have understood that when people learn real history, it affects how they function in the world. So if you understand the history of human rights violations and war crimes, you you will accurately conclude that the U.S. is currently committing war crimes just as the ICJ did. If you learn about the history of voting rights suppression, you will uh, learn you will learn that maybe you don't want to, you know, you it's important to protect voting rights and all kinds of other things. So people realize that history factors in to how people show up and how they and how they struggle. And so there's a history of banning that. You could go back to Uncle Tom's Cabin. This was a powerful abolitionist book that that sort of, you know, laid out what what slavery was really all about. And it was and people tried to ban it. Why would you want to ban an accurate history and account of what of what was actually going on? Now, there's been a wave of laws implemented in recent years that restrict certain lessons on race in classrooms across the country. What do you make of the debate surrounding that? And can you quickly also touch on a few stories that aren't being taught in the classroom that you think people need to know? Well, I, I think that, you know, if we're going to solve the problems that are going to confront us right now, we have many difficult problems. We have to have an accurate account of how we got to this moment. And I also know that people want to feel inspired, right? They want to, by the most, you know, compelling moments, the moments where people were courageous, the moments where people didn't do what was convenient. And there's so many examples in history. You know, I um, often talk about the story of someone like Robert Smalls. But I think even if you think about the civil rights movement, we talk about Martin Luther King, but there was a powerful role that Black women played in that Montgomery bus boycott and in the civil rights movement in general. I think with so many people talking about unions and trying to look at their working conditions, the history of labor, which has, you know, you know, which involves both black people. I think about um, drum and the auto workers, um, you know, union there. I mean, there's so many powerful moments that people don't know enough about and or, or Freedom Summer. Right. You talk about the, the whole struggle of, of Freedom Summer. And these are histories that brought people together across racial lines to struggle to dismantle the power that was oppressing people. Right. It's it's so I think in that regard. It's just real history. It's real factual history. I'm fine with calling it black history. But if you don't know that black history, then you don't know the real history. And thankfully, a lot of Americans are really excited to get it. All right. Assistant professor at NYU's Journalism Institute, Chenjirai Kumnaniko. We so appreciate your time today, professor. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.